You're watching Telecom TV from IBC 2017 in Amsterdam. And I'm joined now by Tom Darlington, Global M&E, Enterprise Transformation and Security at IBM, and Anne Jacobsen, who is CEO of Media City Bergen. Anne and Tom, thank you both for joining us on Telecom TV. And if I could ask you first, please, tell me a little bit more about Media City Bergen in Norway and why it was established. Well, it was established to bring the industry and the university uh, and the startups together. You know, innovating by email doesn't really happen. So by bringing people together, we have a very successful ecosystem. 86% actually of the cluster companies launch innovations every year, which is pretty amazing. Tom, IBM has announced a partnership with Media City Bergen. What does it entail and what do both organizations hope to gain? Yeah, so the, the industry is going through massive change. Um, uh, with, with new entrants into the media market space, um, with new uh, competition and new technologies, uh, customers are looking for uh, personalized content. They're looking for it right now on any device, anywhere in the world. And if I look at what Media City Bergen can bring and its member clients with some of the deep, powerful platforms that IBM has, I think we've got a great opportunity to, to, to do some good for the industry. And what is it about IBM as a technology partner that appeals to you? IBM was on the top of our list. Uh, and we were so, so glad that they really wanted to partner with us. Uh, the competence of IBM and the technology with Watson and the cloud and, and this, uh, this ways that uh, it can sort of help the media industry and as a whole and the media cluster in particular, it, it's just amazing. We, to us, uh, IBM is a forward-leaning and, uh, and, and a strong international player that will really fuel the collaboration and innovation in the media cluster. Tom, how do the various components of IBM's portfolio fit into this partnership? As, as media companies change and, and as new startups and new skills are needed in the industry, tools and pow powerful platforms like IBM Cloud, like Watson and Cognitive, um, play a big role in looking at uh, uncovering data, data about your consumers, data about um, data about your products, uh, uh, the analytics, the deep analytics that is needed to reinvent your business and also using IBM Cloud to scale your business uh, up and down based off of these new customer expectations. As we said, anytime, any content, anywhere, you have to have powerful tools, forward thinking teams working together to build these things. We're moving uh, our IBM offices in Bergen to Media City, but that's not it. We will also be able to bring resources, global resources, and all the work we're doing with media companies globally, deep industry expertise, deep technology expertise around things like blockchain, IoT, and media industry, along with Anne's team and, and the member companies. And will you also be working with students and universities as part of this partnership? Yes, we do. And, and that is a, a huge opportunity, I think, for the new skills that are needed in this industry. Getting our youngest uh, to figure out the new technologies, the new ways of, of developing work, uh, and we will be working with uh, Media City Bergen and the university to get them up to speed with our technologies, to help them understand the industry and how what they can do can really change the world. So Anne, what trends are we seeing within the industry and how does Media City Bergen address them? Uh, there are some really tough challenges ahead. Uh, there are a huge competition on people's time. We have large global competitors like uh, Google and Facebook. Uh, we need to be able to tell the important stories in the right context, to the right audience, at the right time, with the right visual tools to understand what we are presenting to the audience. Uh, so that will be sort of a key innovation uh, platform for the media cluster and where e IBM is really going to help us. So how many companies work in Media City Bergen and within your broader ecosystem? We have uh, actually like 30 moved in as we speak, more are moving in. The cluster as a whole counts uh, 100 members 
not all will be moving in, but most of them will, and all the key players, the university, the startup lab, and of course the media lab. Final question for both of you. Start with you, Tom. How do you see this partnership evolving and developing in the future? So I think it is an amazing opportunity for not just the media city cluster, but I think it's, if you look at what can be developed for the media industry, every industry could understand and learn from this digital transformation. Whether you're healthcare, whether you're in banking, whether you're in um, retail, if, if you look at some of the deep issues uh, affecting transformation in those industries, they look a little bit like the media industry, right? Better understanding of your data. How do we move data to the core so we can make better business decisions? Um, how do I scale my business? How do I amplify my business into the right you know, information at the right time? That's the exciting part from IBM, and I think what Ann's building with you know the clusters, I think has a, a great opportunity to go across not just media, do some great work there, but also into the other yeah. other industries. Yeah, totally agree with that. And and also we have some very global leading companies in the cluster like Visrt, Vimont, and Sixty, and so on. And their core competence uh, matched with this uh, IBM tools. I think that could transform a lot of industries. Anne and Tom, thank you both very much. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you.